Hello everybody, welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. And today I want to try and get some stuff from our gas giant planet that we've got. So if we just jump into our overview here, this map here, oh this map, this planet over here, Meta 2, actually has collectible hydrogen, collectible fire ice as well. But we need to unlock the thing that gives us that, which is this one here. Gat Wool. That is actually quite flashy. What is going on? Something's going on. We need to check it out. But this item here for, yeah, collecting stuff from a gas giant. So let's just jump back in again and make sure all of our research thing is working. Do you know what I think it is? I think we've got a power issue. Let's have a quick check of this here. Yeah, look, we're using 95. We've only got 69. Every time we turn this on, depending on what else is going on, yeah, it gives us a bit of a power issue. Um, I've got solar panels. So many solar panels over here. Yeah, so I could, you know, while I'm waiting for this to go through, run another ring, because we've only got this one line around the centre here. I think I'm going to do that. And I've had lots of suggestions as well on how to get more dirt. Because I don't have much dirt. So let's grab this one here. Lay foundation. Uh, no decoration. Decoration, this one here. And basically, just by... Let's make that a little bit smaller. Just by running it down here over anything that's green is going to give me more dirt. So if we just sort of come along here like this... Oh, darn it. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. We'll take that one out. Uh, no, wrong one. We'll do this one here. Pick. There we go. So, yeah, we should... Every time we go over something green or something that's particularly high, we should be picking up more dirt. So, I am going to continue along. Oh, I'm just too far away. And then I'm going to, when I get back to the beginning again, grab myself a load of solar panels and get this thing built even bigger. Oh, this could be a problem. Look at that. We get down to the bit where the sea is. And building over this is a bit of an issue. Uh, let's just fly over here. Come on. Fly. Thank you very much. So I'll skip over to the land and then we'll come back to that bit, I think. Yeah, and the sooner we can get this interplanetary stuff going as well, because we're out of the plates that we need in here to make these things, the titanium ingots. Yeah, I'll go and grab some of those in a minute. Our power's getting better. What are we up to? 108. Actually, do you know what? That'll probably be okay. I think I'm going to take a quick trip to get some titanium plates. Oh, do you know what? It's uh, probably a good idea to check where it is <laughs> before we head out. Oh, it's quite a distance away. It's getting further away from us. Okay, let's go. Let's catch it up. Oh, it's quiet in space. I like that. The music's all disappeared. There it is. No! Get back. Oh my goodness, I've missed it. Turn! What's going on? Oh my life. I've completely missed it. And I haven't got enough fuel to turn properly. <laughs> this is bad. I should have just landed on the planet. Ah! Okay, I'm managing to get a few small turns in. Let's just slow down our speed a bit. There we go. Oh, good gravy. Okay, I'm not going to be fussy this time. I'm just going to hit the planet. <laughs> Land. And then we'll go for a walk if we need to. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Woo. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. Oh, loads in there. Lo oh, hang on. Let's open me inventory. Ah! Loads in there. And this one here. Loads in there. Nice. And I might as well take a bit of copper with me back as well. I am going to get the interplanetary stuff going soon. But as it stands at the minute, that's what we've got. And as long as I don't mess it up, I can get there and back. Ooh, that's a bit of a distance. But let's go. Oh, hang on. Uh, let's fill up my battery first. We made it back. We made it back. And here we are. And then we're going to chuck all of those in there. And that will get going for our yellow cubes again. Let's just check. Yep, that's what we need. The items are coming out there. And it will get popped over here to make the yellow cubes. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Collecting the soil. 
105k, 110k, 121k. Yeah, we're doing okay. Oh, do you know what? It's so satisfying just going around the entire planet and placing these things. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. Oh, and here we go. The last few to complete our second ring. There we go go fantastic so what are we up to now power wise 79.1 but what it was actually more before <laughs> i think i might have missed i think i might have missed a part of the world yeah i need to stop chucking chests of things all over the place completely forgot i had those chests over there stuffed filled stuffed to the brim with titanium ingots and we're nearly there we're almost completed our ability to go and get stuff from the gas giant. And I really want to automate getting all of these things as well. Uh, I'm going to leave those in there. We're going to grab that. Oh, there we go. Let's shut these last couple in while we're waiting for this research to finish. It's so close. It's so close. There we go. Excellent. And there we go. Gas Giant Exploitation have unlocked the Orbit Collector. And you can now use it to collect the resources on the Gas Giant, but will consume the collected fuel material to maintain the energy needed to work. Okay. That's interesting. I'm not quite sure how that one's going to work, you know, because that's this one here. Do we need, like, two of those so we can... You know, get stuff down here on the Earth. On the Earth. On our planet. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to look into that. And I'm also going to make myself... We have one interstellar logistics station. I am going to make myself another interstellar logistics station. We're almost halfway there because I've got a spare one of these planetary logistics stations. So, we've only got to get these items and we'll have that set up as well. Now, just looking at my upgrades here and something a few people have mentioned to me is with the logistics carrier engine. So, our logistics drone flight speed is plus 20%. Uh, over here, we have another plus 20%. We can do that one once we've unlocked these. Then we get into another 30% and 50% logistic vessel navigation speed. Now, that is going to be the one that's going to have our vessels that are going to be coming from other planets to our planet and all that sort of thing. A lot of people have said, don't bother using it until you get the vessel warp. I'm assuming that's, warp, as we understand it, jumping from one place to the other. But I'm going to just work through these ones here, which means I need to activate the solar sail life. That will help me from flying planet to planet, which will then enable me to do this one. Which will then enable me to work my way through these ones. Oh, we haven't even got this one. Oh, I thought I did. And then we could enqueue that one. And then we could enqueue that one as well. This one, we need the purple cubes. We're not there yet. So I'm going to let that whir away very, very slowly. Because our... Let's just have a look in here. Our yellow cube matrix. Yeah, production is quite low. But we do have a backlog of the red and the blue. So the fact that they're low doesn't matter. But yeah, it will take as long as it takes. Oh, this is an interstellar logistics station. This one here. So I've got that one there. And I've got that one there. Oh, and I was told it already comes with logistics vessels or drones or something. So we could actually be ready to go. Oh, nice. Oh, solar sail life uh, unlocked. That's the first one. Excellent. Now we need to build these. Look. Logistics drones, supply and demand in the planetary logistics system. And then we have logistics vessel, which is, yeah, that goes between the planets. So we need to make up some of these. We've got some of these items already. Reinforced thrusters. Yeah, we can make this stuff. Not too difficult. So I'm just going to get some of those together. I'm assuming that <laughs> the planets that they're going between are going to be really slow. But we'll work that one out. And then also, uh, this one here I've just read up. Oh, what's that? Oh, energy exchanger. This one here, the orbit collector. Once we place that on the gas giant, any vessels that we have in our interstellar logistics station will just stop on the way past and pick them up and bring them down to here as well. So this could be pretty flipping fantastic and i really want to place this on our pole where's our pole over here yeah where we've got some solar panels 
We're going to get rid of these solar panels. And this is going to be its new home. Whee! There we go. Fantastic. Whoa, I've just hooked this thing up to the power. And just look, it's got a huge battery that it's going to fill up. But that's having a huge drain on our power source. So we're making over 100 megawatts anyway. But with this one on and filling up, 120. So, yeah, we're. I could do with another ring around the planet. But we'll worry about that when we get there. But that makes me think about when we add one of those... Onto Mater 4 over here. We're going to need to take a lot of power stuff with us as well. I'm hoping though once it's filled up. That it won't keep draining. Yeah, not too bad actually. It's done the main part and it's going okay now, isn't it? Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So for down here on our main planet, I've set this up. Uh, we can just clear and reset that if we wish. So I can set this up to say I would like these titanium ingot ingots. Uh, it says remote supply. I want remote demand. So I'm demanding that from another planet. And then local supply. What other options have we got there? Local demand. Yeah, we'll leave that on local supply. So they're going to be coming out of here and going somewhere else if they're needed. And I think that's it. And then if we do the opposite on the other planets, then they should start flying down here once we've stuck a load of uh, spaceships in there. So I'm going to get a few bits that we need to make the vessels and then yeah i'll be back with you momentarily okay so we've got the extra logistic dry dry, dry flight speed mate and the extra logistical vessel navigation speed so that is the main one that we were going for that's taken flipping ages i tell you um we've got i've made 13 vessels now a lot of these things, I'm like hand making them. It's taken me so long to get all this stuff set up. Where's my vessels gone? And I seem to have 20 of these spare. Oh, that's right. I'm still making my other orbital collector because I don't have a lot of these items automated. These ones here, all the things that you need for these. I'm having to do them myself. So that is a big... That's a big thing that I need to do is to go through and set up a lot of automation. Oh, backing up all the cubes. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Um, yeah, but before I do that, I'd like to automate. I'd like to at least get my orbital collector and my interstellar logistics station going for sure. So at least then we're getting those items. I don't have to keep flying backwards and forwards to the planet. But I've got everything I need for a second orbital collector so we've got what uh oh no it's only one that we need isn't it sorry not not two uh one of these that we need apart from this here we need to put in 20 full accumulators so there's no recipe for this because it has to be a full one uh, we can make them over here and um, i have been making these crystal silicons uh, if we come over here there we go look at that fantastic so if we just grab a couple of stacks of those and i can probably make yeah nine <laughs> i thought i was hoping i'd be able to make some more um so let's make those and then the bits we're missing actually these aren't that complicated to make are they so it's rings oh yeah these are all basic plates and stuff so let me just uh grab those let's grab so this is basically what i've been doing is stood here by this charger grabbing the parts that i need and it's been filling up this bar, like, as far as the eye can see and more past it. And I've just been leaving it. I left, I left the computer running overnight just to try and get these things done. Um, but, yeah. So, we had nine. We can make another three. So, that's 12. And then we just need to make up some of these. So, let me make them. Actually, I'll tell you what. Have we made any yet? Oh, we're just about to make these nine. So I'm not quite sure. Let's go over here to our power system, which is becoming more and more not adequate enough for what we're doing. <laughs> the further into the game we go. Yeah, look, there we go. 144 megawatts. You saw it there. So actually, I think we'll be okay. What I wanted to do was put these down over here and see how much they hold. So it's F8 for that and how big they are. Nope, that wasn't right. There we go. Actually, they're not huge, are they? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, if you have a look at these, accumulated, so it doesn't tell us on there. Does it tell us on here? Um, 600 kilowatts input, 600 kilowatts output, accumulated 90 
MJs, Mega Jewels, whatever it is. Okay, so let us hook these two up. That's got a longer reach. If I pop that there, are then these all going to connect together? Oh, yeah, they will. Fantastic. Look at that. Ooh. Right, I'm going to leave these to charge. That ain't going to take long, is it? Let's have a look at this. Oh, we're not even taxing our system. So, cool. That's fine. Let these carry on, and I'll be back with you. And here we go. Got the rest of my accumulators. Let's drop these bad boys in. Oh, my giddy aunt. These are going to be using up so much power. That should be 20, I think, if I've counted it right. Let's add that one in, that one in. And that's the last one. Yes. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19, 20. Excellent. Look at that. Look at the power. Oh, man, they're going to take ages. How's, my, how's the first one doing that I placed? Oh, full up. Fantastic. And how's my power grid? Absolutely no problem at all. I tell, do you know what it is, why the power grid's so good? Because I've left my game running all night, uh, all the little buffer chests that I've got for all the stuff that I need are all just filled up. That's why all of this is backing up. Let's just turn off that. That's why all my cubes are backed up. That's why all of these are stopped going because all my chests are filled, which is brilliant. Also, we just turn this around and have a look here. We've emptied our stone stockpile, the, uh, the stone uh, reserves, veins, whatever they're called, for making the silicon. So all of this can go. Uh, we've also emptied something else somewhere I saw as well. Yeah, that one's nearly done for making my steel frames. That's still going okay. That's all going okay. Yeah, so we're going to have some cleanup, and we really could do with finding some silicon. Oh, that was it. Yeah, look. My first copper mine, they're all empty. Uh, that's my iron mine. That's okay. Where's my copper coming from now? All the way over here. Yeah, there's still some left in there, so that's good. But definitely want to hook up this titanium on the other planet. Collect the fire cubes or whatever they're called from uh, over here. Let's zoom out a bit. So we're going to head to Mater 4. And we're going to set up bringing our titanium over. And then we're going to head over to Mater 2. And start collecting fire, ice and hydrogen. That is the plan. And then eventually, not this episode, but another one. We'll go to Mater 1. And there's silicon on there, which is what we need. And some other stuff as well. And, oh, ocean type lava. Oh, look at that planet. Fantastic. Right, let me just finish up with these last couple of bits we need to do. And I'll be with you. Oh my giddy aunt, this has taken so long to get all these items together. I, I need to automate so many more things. I really do. Right, just a little word of warning about these here. Once they are full up and you pick them up, you cannot place them down again. Um, so I've got this one here. Accumulator full. I've got it picked up and there's nothing in the menu that lets me put that down. This is the accumulator. And, yeah, it says not enough items. I can't do shift-click on that as another full one. It will say not enough items. And there's nothing else in any of the other menus. Uh, what's that? A water pump that allows you to place this thing down. So just keep that in mind. I'm just checking all the menus. Eight, nine. No, that's it. But we're going to pick all these up. We need them all. So let's just grab all of these. I'm picking up full ones, as it says down here. Good, which is good, which is good, which is good, which means... Wrong button. <laughs> which means I can now make the Orbit Collector. And I'm so hoping I only need one of these. And it's going to use up one of my interstellar logistics stations. But that's fine. There it goes. Ah, oh, darn it. I do need to make myself another interstellar one. Oh, I thought it was going to use one of these. My planetary ones. Darn so I've got one over here on this planet, but I just need to make one more. And then we can set all of this lovely stuff in motion. There it is. It's so huge. I love it. I love it. Oh, my goodness me. Let's actually... Can I place this thing down and see how big it is? Let's just fly over here. There we go. We'll land here. Has it been made? Is it still being made? It's been made. Where is it? There it is. Okay, let's see if we can place this thing. Uh, this one here. Transportation. Orbit collector. Can't even pick the thing up because I've got to do it when I'm around the other planet. Okay, I'm going to make myself one more interstellar logistics station and then we will be ready to go. 
Oh, it's taken so long. So I've got 23 logistics vessels. These are the ones that we're going through space. That's probably well overkill, but I've got them now. Uh, logistics drones, which will be the ones that will take it on the planet uh, to different places. And then we've got our orbit collector, our interstellar logistics station, and our planetary logistics station. So what I'm going to do is I want all my items coming in that I'm going to be collecting from the orbit and from the other planet. I want them coming in here. Uh, just for now, what I'm going to do, I think, is just stick a couple of chests over here um, and get these items coming out. So if I go like this... Uh, okay, I guess it's going to be that one. If I go like that with that one there... You can do that for me. And then we'll go like this with this one here. <laughs> Whoa, that is... Oh, we're right on the center of the planet, aren't we? Okay, yep, yep. So we can have filters on these. Ah, that's interesting. So I tell you what we'll do is we'll come out to there with that one. And then we'll do this one here, out to here as well. Oh, look at that. And then what I might just do is disconnect this and set the filters when we get there. So if I disconnect that... <laughs> if I delete the whole thing. <laughs> oh, good job. I can just put it back down again. There we go. So we'll just do that. There we go. And then when I set these up, we'll get the filters for what's coming out. So this is now going to have to fill up with all the power again. Darn it. <laughs> what a mistake to make it. Um, I'm going to put in here. Now, I can, of course, put a planetary logistics station somewhere on this planet to have these items flown by drones to anywhere else to all of my stuff. But for now, we're just going to have it come to the chest. That's the plan. Um, I'm going to put... Can I right-click and take half and put half my ships in there? If I take them back again, I can. Okay, I wasn't sure how that worked. Where did they go? I've got 10, 13... That's it, yeah, 23. So if I take 10 of those, pop them in there... They will charge up. They will be ready. So we are going to have titanium coming in here. I think 3,000 for now will be fine. And it's going to be remote demand. So we're demanding it from somewhere else to come to here. And then I could set up a, rem uh, a local supply on this line and do the same thing again and send it off to a logistic station. But like I said, we're not going to do that. This is filling up. We can actually drop this down. Um, whoa, flipping it, it goes really high. Oh, let's just leave it on 60 then. It's, it's nearly getting there, it's fine. We've got plenty of power. Okay, so that's that one here. Um, what else do we want? What else can we demand? Well, we're going to be getting from our orbital collector fire, ice, and hydrogen. So let's get those as well. So if we go here, is that fire, ice, titanium, crystal? Not even sure what the darn thing would look like on here. Titanium, water. We've got hydrogen, so let's do that one. Hydrogen, and then remote demand. And then we'll drop that down to like 3,000. I'm going to mess with these a bit later when I know exactly what I want where. There we go. And then fire ice. There it is. Fire ice. So remote demand on that as well. Why not 3,000? That's just. Uh, actually, I'll put 1,000 on that for now. 3,000 seems like a lot. Let's drop it down to 2,000 for, for our needs at the moment because our ships are going to be split, I would imagine, semi-equally between all of these. Um, so that's the three items that we're getting from this one and from this one. So I think that's it here. So I'm going to grab a load of solar panels and things. I might even just make myself another accumulator, which I can do. There we go. To pop on the other planet with these because obviously there's not going to be sun available all the time and then we're going to head out and get those set up from what i remember the orbital collector will just power itself from whatever it i'm assuming from the hydrogen it can get so good right let me just dump all my stuff in these dumpy chests and i'll be with you in a sec right let's head out to mater 4 which is around here somewhere uh, oh, good grief. <laughs> Where is it? I saw it a minute ago. Okay, let's just zoom out. Icarus is flying around the planet. Oh, there it is. Okay, stop. Head out. There's Mater, oh, there's Mater 2. Oh, okay, let's go to Mater 2 instead. We're almost there. 
And then I can place my orbital collector. So I believe... Let's wait until we get all the way there. I believe how it works is... Yes, we're there. Okay. Sail mode ends. Good, good, good. Well, let's fly around and find the equator. Because I think that's how it's going to work. And there's absolutely no easy way to tell where that is. So I'm sort of guessing... Okay, let's slow down. I can't land anywhere. So let's just see if I can place this thing. Orbital collector. Oh, there we go. Look, we're going to get the lines. Okay. Um, I'm looking for the big line. So I want to go left. Okay, let's get that thing out again. This one. Orbital collector. There we go. Yeah, let's go this way. Oh, I've got a right click to move you. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is weird. Come on. Keep going. We'll find it in a minute. Yeah, there's got to be an easier way to find, to find the equator than this. I'm sure there is. Well, we've made it to the top. So let's just follow one of these lines down here and we'll get to the equator. I'm pretty sure that's where it goes anyway. It doesn't actually say on here, does it? Uh, it needs to consume the collected fuel materials. doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure I read that in the comments. So let's fly down. Oh, there we go. Look, it says the orbital collector can only be built at the equator. Yeah, that makes sense. So I'm waiting for... Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, let's build this thing. Yes. You have built an orbital collector. Nice. So looking at this thing here, you can go now. Thank you very much. Leave. Be gone. Thank you. Let's click on this. So it's picking this up and it's automatically set to remote supply, I believe. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, max charging power. Set the slider. So I think, yeah, we'll leave it as it is. And then at some point, this will be charged up. And then the other items will end up going back to our planet. But look at this thing. Isn't it majestic? It is absolutely... Oh, look at that. That's a screenshot if ever there was one. Hopefully it didn't pick up my mouse. <laughs> Great. Oh, a spaceship just arrived. Look, there it goes. Wasn't expecting that yet. There it is. There it is. Can we go out? Let's zoom out. Oh, I've got to turn me thing back on. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Can we see it in this view? Oh, I wasn't expecting them to turn up just yet. But well, that is brilliant. Right, okay. Well, rather than keep messing around here, we actually need to head out to Mater 4. So let us leave this thing going. And it's working away. Uh, okay, let's get back into normal view. There we go. It is working away, collecting and sending these items back. Automatically fueling itself by the look of it. So, uh, let's go. Let's take off and let's head to Mater 4. Oh, look at that. We're going to smack right into our area. Bosh. That is what we want. And we've got copper here we can send back as well. Nice. Hadn't thought of that. So, we make sure we set up that up when we get back home. So let's get our interstellar logistics station. And that literally could just go right here, couldn't it? Let's do that. Because then we can have these items. Ta -da! Yeah, power. Power's going to be an issue. Oh, it's filling up. That's okay. So then let's get... If we can turn that one off, that'll be great. So let's get these going. That will connect our... Uh, from there into there. Well, actually, we'll do all of these. Uh, let's shift click that into there and there into there. We might as well. Um, oh, didn't bring me sorters with me. And that doesn't come straight out of there, does it? No. Oh, pants. <laughs> I'm going to have to come back again. Can I make any? Can't make any. Darn it. I need iron ingots. And is there any iron ingots on this planet? No, it's all titanium and copper. I could probably run and grab... My oh, there we go. Look. Let me just make myself some basic ones. There we go. We can make three of the fast ones. Excellent. That's good. Thanks for that. You can stop grabbing that now. Good, good, good. Yeah, power is going to be atrocious. So what I'm going to do here... I think I'm just going to lay these out sort of in a row like this. I mean, they're not around the equator. I'm not sort of putting any special thought into, whoops, which direction these are facing or anything like that. Oh, yeah, they're going to go off kilter. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm going to put a, an accumulator 
here as well and we'll just we'll just work with that yeah i think like before the power consumption is just going to be huge until until that thing's filled up and then it won't be so bad so i'll just maybe chuck a few of these down like this almost there Oh, almost there. I've got flipping thousands of them. Yeah, okay, that'll do. <laughs> Just fill in these ones here. One, two, three. And we're done. Okay, let's head back. And then just over here, I've got one accumulator, which will fill up as well, just to grab a load of power for us. Yeah, when these are all working. Oh, my goodness me. Horrendous. Right, and let's finish these off. So we want... Uh, that to go into there, that to go into there, and that to go into there. To empty all of this out. Excellent. So I'm hoping that what we can do now is set this up for titanium ingots for remote supply. Yep, that should be good. And then what else are we getting here? Copper ingots for remote supply as well. Ah, do I need to change one of these or will it automatically do it for me? I think it might just automatically do it for me because I'm going to ask for them back on the home planet. We'll have to double check that. But yeah, look at all these copper ingots. Look at all these titanium. Fantastic. And once the power gets going, that will work. And I'm just waiting for a spaceship just to turn up here. Yeah, power's okay. I think if we just put this down to 30 megawatts we should be fine and then just let this thing fill up we can use this for storage as well because you can store 10,000 in here so you get these things made and wow so where's my planet there we go look we're gonna start getting some sun uh, there we go a logistics vessel we saw it there heading off over to the other one there it is it's coming over let's get back and wait Oh, man, this is glorious. This is glorious. Come on. Hey, there it is. Oh, look at that. Going in the top. Brilliant. Fantastic. What I'm just thinking, actually, is... There we go. 200 in transit. Is this one here I'm going to put down to 1,000? This one here I'm going to put to 3,000? And I want to sort of, yeah, process more of those. So that should be everything so let me just make sure i'm full up on power there we go and we will we will we, we will head back to our home planet there it is and see how it's all working oh there's another one coming can i hitch a ride probably not uh where are we going mm, not entirely sure there we go that's where we're going catching up with the spaceship <laughs> it's got our titanium ingots on it Ooh. Oh man, this is fantastic. So now if we actually put in here, there we goes. Put in here as well. Our copper. And let's just see what we've got in here. Oh, we've got stuff stored in here. So if we have this one here and do remote demand, they will then start coming in here as well. And let's just jump down here. And I'm just going to put chests on here for now. Um, so I'm going to have one of you there. I'm going to have one of you there, and we're going to need a bit of land over here. So, no decoration. zippity doo -da. And, of course, we don't have any. <laughs> so, I tell you what. Let me go and get some. Right, so we'll set these up to go into those three there. We're going to need some power. We'll get that in a sec. And then over here, when I have these... Oh, no, hang on. You want to do it like this, don't we? So we're going to go from there to there. And then we're going to tab. So we'll have that one as at titanium. We'll have this one as the fire cubes. We'll have this one as the copper. And then, of course, we've got the hydrogen as well. I've completely forgotten about that. Oh, here it all comes. Look. Oh, exciting. Let's get one of these over here. Yep. And then we'll just pop another one there and another one there just to get the power going for these. That's it. We now have titanium coming in, fire cubes coming in, and then we'll get some copper coming in at some point. And then we just need to hook up the other one as well. 
There we go. So let's get this last one hooked up. And we'll have our hydrogen going into this one. There we go. Not quite sure why the copper's not coming out yet. Ah, oh, and the hydrogen. Excellent. Oh, it's filling up. There we go. There's some in transit. Oh, here we go. Look, they're landing on the outside ring. Oh, look, there's loads of them there. Can I click on these? No, I can't. Oh, hang on, I probably can. I turned off the UI. Oh, they just all sat on the outside ring. That is fantastic. So if we got... Oh, in storage, look, 1,800. I see. So they're all going to sit on there until this has all been unloaded, which I could probably do with faster conveyor belts. But for now, that is absolutely stunning. And, oh, man, we could set up the planetary ones of these around the place, have it all come into here, and this could be our our mall where we just run over here and grab some oh oh the next episode i'm so excited if you want to see that as well then don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one thank you for all of your support i will see you very soon have a fantastic day Bye bye